I'm not obese. I'm a plus-size, curvy lady. Do you find the term obese offensive I and find, yeah. uh, insensitive, unpleasant? I find it very offensive. Yeah. Um, it's just not a nice word. Why, why do we have to be labelled with that word? And do you, are you, do you consider yourself healthy? Because, of course, the argument is, if you are carrying extra pounds mm -hmm. and puts more pressure on you and on your body, do you feel like you're in full health? I feel for the weight I am and the way that I look at the moment, I feel comfortable with the way I am. Um, I don't think it should just be targeted at plus size girls. You've got, you know, size maybe 12 um, ladies that uh, could be deemed to be unhealthy because they smoke or they drink. Mm -hmm. I, I think Would you just... like to be six stone heavier? That's what Tess Holliday is. She's your height. In fact, she's an inch smaller than you. It doesn't matter about what Tess is or what I am. I'm individual to me. You're 16 stone? Yes. You're classified as obese. How does that make you feel when you hear that? I mean, it doesn't offend me. I think it's how you take on words and labels. I like the term plus size. I feel proud, I feel confident. It's who I am and I embrace who I am. But this plus size, you see, who's that? Uh, Ashley Graham, isn't it, mm -hmm. is the plus size model. I've sat next to her at a dinner party and she, I, I thought she was a wonderfully positive body image, right? That's not what I'm talking about. I don't look at you and see somebody I think looks dangerously overweight, right? You're, you're my weight, right? Which is obviously svelte and everything else. Um, <laughs> I'm talking about the, the Tess Holiday area where I think she's being used in a very... And we'll come to, to Gemma, isn't it? Um, I think she's being used in quite a cynical way. I think she's being used in a way that unfortunately means she can now only make money if she stays at 300 pounds or larger. And she said in the interview, I've never been heavier, I've never been happier. Does any, does any woman ever really believe that the heavier they get, the happier they are? I think that's open to individuals and mm. personality. Mm. I think putting, putting a label on everybody yeah. who comes under the BMI of obese or morbidly obese is actually it's quite ignorant because we're all very different. As you can see, we're all very diverse in who we are. We're completely different personalities. The way we carry ourselves is all different. I've been 28 stone. I've lost 13 stone. Why did you lose 13 stone? Because I felt at the time that was something I needed to do. Why? I had Why? No, I had no health complications, none. But you would have done, right? OK, so in the long run, possibly. She's a fully self-employed individual, so the only person who's exploiting her would be herself. Mm -hmm. if no, no, ever the seen... magazines are exploiting her. But she, she makes all the money, it's her brand, it's her, it's yeah, her everything. Cosmo making money okay. too. Yeah, but off her, she's getting right? paid. They're deliberately but, using you, her to make money. pausing that for one second, you know how the celebrity industry works. If she were to lose £300, well, she'd be dead. If she were to lose £100, <laughs> the money she would make off that, mm. she could double her income by doing a weight loss DVD, by selling her soul... So why do we encourage her to do book? that? Because she doesn't want to. She does but want also, to. I don't it, believe that. But this is this is my thing. I do. Why are you so obsessed with her? I'm obsessed with her. She, you says, are obsessed, what? obsessed with her. You are. It's a little bit I weird. I have literally until the end, until the, until the start of September, until the start of September, which is literally a few weeks ago. I'd never heard of her. And since right? the start of September, I get back you from holiday. I see her. the cover of Cosmo, and I'm like. Sorry, what's going on okay. here? Have and you I read her Cosmo. journey, though? Huh? Have you followed her journey ever? Have you gone back and researched anything? Because there are actually posts where she's in the gym and she's eating healthy. It's not she all... She has a personal she training. She does. She works yeah. That's what she does. I've just okay. seen her post videos of her munching cake with her bare okay. hands. OK. <laughs> 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 not about them <laughs> eating I'm serious. Yeah. I mean, she said know. to someone it's this not, morning, I didn't eat all the cake. Some people like a Big Mac, some people like cake. I found when I ate Can I just ask a question, a doctor? Miriam's yes, you may, Suzanne. These lovely women here, even though Helen has already objected to the word obese, but as Piers points out, obese is technically a category when you're judging BMI. Is it dangerous, bad for your health? Is the Tess Holiday cover actually promoting something that is not a good idea? Or is it, I think, about accepting who you are and not constantly fighting yourself. OK, I'd just like to say at the beginning, Susanna, that I think every woman has the right to be proud of her body. Yes. And her body <laughs> is her you. own business. <laughs> I totally However, agree, by the way. Thank you. I totally agree. <laughs> so why have you made this <laughs> holiday's <laughs> body <laughs> your business? You all look fabulous. <laughs> OK, so just a minute, though. I am bothered by things like the cover of Cosmo because I think it glorifies and glamorises, and I'm going to use the word, obesity. Mm. Um, I think that uh, the, the person looks like they've made a healthy life choice. People see it as that, and they see them as a good role model, and so they would copy that in the long term. 
there are going to be problems because fat we all think of as harmless. It isn't. Rebecca, fat is and, and Rebecca, let me ask. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. <laughs> if if this woman Tess Holliday, this model, had been anorexic, mm. genuinely anorexic, mm. painfully thin, right, yes. size zero, right, and she was on the cover of Cosmo. What would you say about that? So it's a really, tr it's a really tricky issue. There are still because I feel the same way no, about so size zero. When t when Victoria Beckham has used them on the catwalk, I've written scathing mm. columns. Right, a I think that is equally dangerous. It's not about being okay. just anti three hundred pound people. So it's about <laughs> people who are dangerously underweight or overweight being glamorized so in that things. way. In terms of somebody being normalized or glamorized, there is huge amounts of research that proves that feeling terrible about your weight means you're more likely to put on weight yeah. and emotionally mm -hmm. eat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People who feel okay about their bodies are more likely to be like, do you know what, I deserve mm. good nourishing food and a workout. So actually, if you I don't really them, agree with that. If there is I don't really agree with that. I think most people, no. most people either yes. get, they hear something about their weight no, or a doctor tells them something about their weight no, well, they yeah. look in the mirror and go, no. enough, I'm getting too fat. No, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In other words, there's an element of shame that drives no, you to lose no, the weight. No, because no. I had bulimia after I lost all of my weight. So I've been at two, I've been two ends of the spectrum. I've been severely overweight and then to a point where I couldn't eat. Mm. They're going to hospitalise me. And I didn't have a positive frame of mind right. being that size. OK, can yes. I just, just one last oh. question to yeah. Dr Miriam? Oh, yeah. What is the most effective? I don't agree that body shaming or making someone feel I bad about their weight either. helps. Right. What is the most effective way that people can lose weight well, in your experience as a doctor? Right. One of the things... Eat that... less food, do more exercise. No. Are you a doctor? Yeah. 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 Can we hear from got... the medical oh, professional in the room? Dr Piers. Um... <laughs> am I wrong, Miriam? Am I wrong? No, you're not. Doesn't wrong. it really just boil down oh, to shush, better, a moment. healthy <laughs> eating, less food down your gullet, and do some more? Oh, you're doing it! By the way, I think the same about men who are lard Can I just bust a myth? I've just heard it said there that you can be fat and healthy. Actually, you can't be. No. Um, you're always somewhat unhealthy. There's a big study done on 17,000 people and they were heavy mm -hmm. and they did regular exercise. And those people were still a third more likely to have a heart attack than mm -hmm. people who were of normal weight. The most inspiring but... thing Tess Holliday could now do, in my view, is actually say, right... I am now going to lose a hundred pounds. She doesn't, she doesn't need to. She, she doesn't, doesn't also need to. But she doesn't care. She does about need that. to. She doesn't care. She does. That might not she's work. Very any well. doctor in the world will tell you. You went to a doctor recently who said that you were top heavy on the BMI. <laughs> you should lose some weight, what? and you lost a stone in six weeks. But this willpower, is, it's willpower it's directed by a doctor. I didn't think you needed to. But you did, and you've never felt yes, can perkier, I just, right? Can every I just person can be every person can be more healthy. I need You're to just, lose a stone in weight. I, I know that. Right? You, you, I, yeah, well, this, yeah, this job right, we do, <laughs> this job we do is not is not conducive to healthy <laughs> living, right? No. I need to lose a stone in weight. I will do it because I'm disappointed. Piers, can I make one last suggestion? Can I make one last suggestion? I think with every glamorous photograph of a plus size model. There should be a health warning. Oh, that's in exactly wow. the really? same no, way. That's ridiculous. It, 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 isn't no, ridiculous. it really it isn't ridiculous. It's not. Just as it's... there is with uh, drinking and gambling and smoking, uh, because um, uh, you know, overeating yeah. causes um, a very dangerous. Rebecca, final thing. word from you. Are we going to put a health warning on every picture of Donald Trump? Uh, there is a health warning on every picture because he's overweight. James no, Corden, front actually, cover Donald Trump is GQ. Donald Trump, as he will tell you from his own doctor, is very healthy. But he's overweight. You know why? Yeah. So he's you never can drunk be healthy alcohol. and overweight. He's never smoked cigarettes. He's never right. taken drugs. He is, Donald he Trump is, is oddly he's very healthy. But he he's is, the worst example you can use. But he is overweight. Okay. He is I have more energy at my size than half the women, half my friends have it. So it's you cannot link the two. I'm going to say thank you to your fascinating discussion. If I just Thing oh, for a lot of women, mm. the battle in your head against right. your body yes. can be incredibly corrosive and yeah. destructive, yeah. and I don't think that helps right. Right. in trying to lose but weight. But if it was, simply saying, but was it, if it eat was, less and move more, yeah. sounds so simple. Yeah. It is so I'm not saying hard it's simple. to do. I'm saying it's and I think you... every woman is on, and every man is on their <laughs> own battle and their, oh, own, journey. their own journey. And their it own doesn't battle. help yeah. when yeah. you Everyone's on a target battle. one individual yeah. and tell her what she should do.